Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Cook With Me video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but on my channel I do provide the points for all three programs and I also share calories as well. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying something new. So I'm bringing you along. I tend to do this. I don't perfect recipes. I am by no means a chef or anything like that. When I kind of get an idea to throw something together, I bring you along because I want you to see how easy it is just to kind of get an idea for things and just throw it together. So I do have a video on my channel for baked spaghetti. I love baked spaghetti. You just put spaghetti in a pan, you put cheese on it and your meat sauce and everything and put it in the oven. So today I'm gonna try it with some zoodles. So I got these zucchini veggie spirals. So if you've watched me for some time, you know that I don't care for cauliflower rice in place of rice. I normally don't care for zoodle type things in, in place of pasta. I usually just prefer to use the pasta. But I'm really trying to make some little changes with the amount of carbs that I'm eating. So I'm gonna try these. Now this is a microwavable tray. So usually when I make the baked spaghetti, I cook the spaghetti and then put that in the pan. So I did heat this up. I just did it in the microwave so as you can do it in the microwave. So I'm gonna be just making enough for two for my husband and I. So what I'm gonna be using is some Prego traditional sauce. I'm probably gonna use a cup, so it'll be the equivalent of about a half a cup for each of us. I'll see, I may have to use a little more. The, for this kind, it is three points for a half a cup or 70 calories. So if you wanna use a zero point marinara or something like that, you could definitely lower your points. I'm also gonna use a half a cup of, this is mostly part skim mozzarella. I do have a little bit of Mexican on the top. And this is the reduced fat, so half a cup of that. So for the points for one serving would just be a quarter of a cup, which is two points. So if that's all I use, then I'm only at five points because I'm gonna be using the zoodles, which are zero. And then over here cooking on my stove, I have a half a pound of ground turkey breast. So that's zero on blue and purple and one point for four ounces on green. So I'm gonna use four ounces for each serving. And if you're counting calories for each serving of this is 130 calories. And I forgot to tell you, if you're counting calories, depending on the cheese, now this cheese that I have is 80 calories for a quarter of a cup. The other thing, I'm just going to add in some ricotta only because I have some that I don't want to go to waste. So I'm going to just kind of plop this on the top. For this ricotta, it is full fat. So just for a quarter of a cup is four points if you are on Weight Watchers. If you're counting calories, it's 110 calories for a quarter of a cup. So since I'm making two servings, it's gonna be an eighth of a cup, so that will be two points. So if you've added that up for blue and purple, we are at three for the Prego, two for the cheese, and two for the ricotta. So we're at seven points, it's zero for the turkey breast. So if you're on green, it's gonna be eight points. I may add in just a little bit of Parmesan cheese, so I may take a point for that. This is for a dinner recipe, so Usually my dinners I try to keep right around 10 points or under, so this is gonna be well within that allotment. And if you're counting calories, we're at about 340 calories, that's including the ricotta. So I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees because I'm gonna pop this in the oven after. And that baking dish you saw, I do have that sprayed with olive oil spray. So I'm just cooking up my turkey breast and then I'm gonna put my prego in there. Just add some salt and pepper. Now if you wanted to bulk it up and add some vegetables, definitely could do that. Uh, I think some mushrooms in here would be good. Some peppers. I'm just going to do it a plain Jane one this time. I feel like I'm gonna be using more meat than I am sauce. So I may increase the sauce a little bit. I may do one and a half cups and just add in another point per serving. I'm just 
just gonna let that heat through for just a few minutes. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of the sauce to the bottom of the baking dish. And then we're gonna top it with the zoodles. All right, next I'm just gonna plop some of the ricotta. And like I said, I'm just using this because I have it to use up. Normally I wouldn't put this in it though. So you would actually save you a couple points by not using this. Then add half of the cheese. And all of the sauce. And then add the rest of the cheese. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of Parmesan. All right, and then I'm popping that in a 350 degree oven for just maybe about 15 minutes because pretty much everything in it is cooked. All right, just took it out of the oven, so now I'm just gonna let it sit for maybe about five to 10 minutes. Okay, I just realized this is gonna make two really big portions. So honestly, you could probably split this into four. That is quite a big serving. It's obviously definitely more watery than regular pasta, which doesn't surprise me because of the zucchini. Yeah, that's a lot. All right, so I'm gonna get my husband and we are gonna try this. Zoodles. All right, here we go. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna get a piece with more of the zoodles. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I could get used to that. Okay, we both approve. Okay, I just want to hop back down to say the more I keep eating this, the more I really like it with the zucchini. I honestly don't think I'll use pasta in this anymore. It's so flavorful. So I would definitely say to try this. Let me know in the comments if you end up trying this. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy. Don't you know that you